Welcome. So today the plan is just to do a bit of a cardio warm up and workout. So we're going to mix a little bit. So cardio workout to go with a core workout after that. So here we go. I'm going to demonstrate for you and please know that I will do my best to um, reverse things as we go along. So just a little heads up for all of my classes here. This is actually my left arm, but when I use this arm, since you're probably watching this on video, I'm going to refer to this as right as much as I can. Forgive me if I goof a little bit. Also, this side of the room and that side of the room I might refer to when we're doing a cardio dance. Probably not, but just so you know, I'll count one, two, three, four. The four corners of the room for facing if need be. If we're exercising and I'm doing left arm and right arm, uh, I'm going to keep on doing left arm and right arm, but if I'm just facing the side, I might switch to go along with you. It's kind of TMI. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's give it a try. Remember, I just want you to be safe, have a good workout, and, and enjoy yourself. So be prepared to laugh at yourself like I do, and we'll have a lot more fun. For the cardio dance workout, I'm gonna do things in small segments and sort of layer on top of them and repeat a lot. So if you don't get something the first time, please don't worry about it. We'll do it a bunch of times more. The idea is that you have the fun of picking something up that seems like a bit of a challenge or something new. Um, it's not important at all that we get it right the first time. That's not our goal. Anyhow, ready for some fun? Let's do it. Here comes the music. All right. Okay, let's just follow along for our cardio warm up. First, we're going to just walk in place. And I just want you to feel your feet warming up. So I'm really pressing into the floor. I'm going to turn to the side, center. As with all of these sections, I want you to start with the lower body. Don't worry so much about getting the arms right on the first try. Really point your toes each time. Let yourself breathe. If you haven't started your workout, take a moment here so you can track it. Bending through the middle. Shoulders roll back. And elbows. Open it up over your head. I'm just stepping and tapping with my feet. Six, seven. Back to the front. Just walking forward, warming up those feet and ankles. Take to the left. Let yourself wiggle on the top, however feels good and authentic to you. We're going to go back to the step touches. We'll go right, touch left. Add in your shoulders. Let all that stress get worked out. Arms up. Throw it down. Throw it away. Press it up. Press it down. Press it up. Press it down. We're going to go double time with those feet. Really warm it up. Here we go. Turn to the right. Turn to the left. Hold your tummies in center. Step it wide. Drop those arms. Bend your knees. Little bounce in the thighs. Head isolation. Right, center. Right. Center. 
up, center down, center. Tilt your head. Roll it to the right. Soften those knees and drop it down for our first stretch. Just take two breaths here. Let your spine lengthen. Let your back shake out, especially those warm shoulders. And roll it up. Okay, we're gonna start in the middle again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna take it to the little right and to the left. Then we do step touch. Lean it forward, lean it forward, up and up. Jog it out. Anywhere in your room you need to go. Dusting cameras. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, right. One, two, three, four. We're gonna add on to this a layer, so make sure you have the pattern. Now step touch. Now we reset. So we're just gonna take a tiny little jog around the room wherever you wanna go. Now some of us are not wanting to bounce too hard, so keep it low instead. The more you bend your knees, the more you're gonna feel the workout. One, two, three, four, two, two, three. Like a skier. Three, two, three. Feel the burn. Five, six, Seven step touch. Here we go. Two. Just straight up. Lift your core. And forward, forward, back. Back with your chest. Reset. Back to center. Here we go from the top. Six. Double time, fast feet. We go. Hold your core tight. Let your butt go down. Step touch. Lift up. Add the chest forward and back. Everybody, let's add on. We're gonna touch to the front, left touch right. So I'm letting my leg go out to the front there. Yeah? And for me, today I'm using my heel here. So if you can't see that, I'm flexing the foot as I tap it across the body. Okay, so now we're gonna repeat the whole thing. We have fast steps, step touches, step touches with chest and then we're gonna step in across. Let's go again to your right side. And eventually we'll flip it. So try and get the pattern in your mind so that part's a little more fun later on. Four, five, six, big breath. Take it low. Two, three, four, right. Two, three, four, seven, left. Two, three, four, bring it home, five, six, Seven step, touch to the right. Breathe. 
Add your chest low and hot. High, high, one more time. Low, low, high. Okay, step across. Left for across, right. Left, across. Right, across, left, across. Left. Good. Reset. Six, seven, eight, two. Six, seven, eight, three, three, five, six, seven, eight. Fourth one is our time to get back up with each other, then we start again. Get low. Step touch. Oh, that one burns, I hope. If it doesn't burn for you yet, try getting your hips a little lower. Low. High. Step touch, step heel, heel across. Good, we're gonna add on to this. This is our heel across step. We're gonna pump our arms two times each. Pause your legs, and we just go pump, 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 pump. Okay, add those feet, right, left. There you go. Raise the roof. Okay, next step is going to be this jazz square. Yeah? Here it is slowed down. We go right. We step across left. We step across right. We step back left. Then we start over again. If you look straight down at your feet, you're making a box on the floor. Hence why it's a jazz square. Left, cross, right. Cross, left, back, right. Left, cross, right. Left, back, right. Think of your steps going in those four places. Got it? Let's reset. Make it fun this time. You got four eights. Three. And number four. Get low, here we go, we go. Five, six, that's it, short step and touch. Upright torso first. Now low, low, high, high. Low, high, high. Wait for the music to rejoin us. High, high, good job, and down. And down, are you breathing? Up, up, and up, down. Uh, down. And here we go with the step touches. Right side starts, right touch left. This one I like to lean it back a little bit. Put your swag on. Feel casual. Okay. Double arms at them in. Punch, punch. Jazz square. So Take it slow. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna take it full speed. That's twice as fast. Good. Ready to reset? You get four eights for whatever you want. Two. Number three. Whatever you want, just have fun. Here's number four. Going back to the top, we go low. And switch. And switch. And switch. That's all. And step touch. Work it out, work it out. Now low arm, high. Back down those doors. Again. Step across, touch. Right cross, left. Lean it back, you're cool. Lean it back. 
You got a body roll in here, roll that body. Talk about that more in a second. Okay, we're gonna add double arms. Here we go, double arms. Pump, 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 pump. Good. Okay, we're gonna switch to our jazz square. You're doing great with these drills, everybody. Here we go, jazz square. Step, right, cross, left, cross, right, back. Right, cross, left, cross, right. You got it. It's just a march, so if you get lost, just keep marching. Bring it up, exhale, catch your breath. Flat back out, drop your arms down. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see my back. I'm gonna lift my belly in, lengthen, shoulder pulses. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Bend your knees. Pull it up, that was your break, reverse. Starting everything with the left side, going to the left. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Step out left. Left touch right. Get tall. Now sweep those fists. Knock it down. Knock it up. Time through those barriers. Take it across. Let's pause right here to review our reversed jazz square. So it's left foot first. And that's going straight to the side. Cross right. Good. Cross left. Cross right. And left. Cross right. Cross left. Back right. Left. Cross left. Jazz square. Yeah? It's going to be so good at this jazz square, we're going to be able to just hop into it soon. Double time. Here we go, jazz square, double time to the left. One, two, three, four. Good, one. Nice work. Okay, when the feet feel comfortable, we'll add in some little embellishments, but not yet. Just take it easy today. Good. You ready to start from the top on your left leg? Yeah, let's reset first. Four, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number four. Here we go. Your left leg's gonna start to the right. And turn to your left. Take it side. And front. Let your booty jiggle. Step, touch. Good, guys. This one's upright. Pull yourself up. Six, seven, eight. Punch it down. Punch, 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 punch. You're banging on the door. Knock those barriers out. One more set. Step across. Now lean your body back. You can even like put your hands in your belt loops. Okay, we're gonna add the arm bumps. Six, five, six, seven, eight. Bump, bump. Lean to it. Good, just square. It's left, right, left, right. Just catch up when you can. Good job, you guys. Good, good. Take it to the center. I'm gonna turn to the side again and talk about body rolls. Bring your legs together and drop it. Okay, we're just gonna let those thighs keep our heart rate up. We're gonna roll through the body. The way that we do this is starting with our head. We're gonna scoop a little bit of ice cream. So we're gonna go scoop with the head, then your shoulders, then your ribs, and finally, your buns. Slow motion body roll. Scoop. Up. Hips. Again, we go dive. Chest. Body. Hip. And you notice I'm bent again. And one more time. Dive. Bent. My legs are straightening behind me. I'm sticking my buns out as my chest goes out. I'm going to bring my chest in. Curl my tailbone underneath. 
That body roll can go with any step, yeah? Let's just try. Step touch, I'm gonna turn out my leg. I'm just step touching. This is our new section, yeah? We're gonna do body rolls. So as you do these step touches, I'm pointing my foot and I'm sending my hip away from the pointed foot. Now I'm adding the body roll. It goes head, shoulders, neck, hips. Head, shoulders, neck, hips. Nice and slow. Let yourself feel it. It's okay if it feels weird at first. Eventually it should fit in. As you settle down that final buns, that's when your hip goes out. So here's what I want to see if you're documenting this spot right here. Two, three. Okay, we're gonna do triplet form of that same thing. So step, touch, step, touch, step, bounce, bounce, bounce. Step, touch, step, touch, step, that's it, bounce, bounce, bounce. Here's your last one. We're gonna step wide. So let's go to your right first. We're gonna step wide and we're gonna throw the heart forward and across and grab it. Step wide, heart forward and across. Step, pull. Okay, now I want you to challenge yourself to come all the way back upright as you come upright. So instead of saying sort of here the whole time, I want you to come all the way upright with your butt underneath you. Here we go, across, upright, across, upright. Squeeze your butt to get yourself back up. Good, okay, add your body roll. Head, neck, shoulders, butt. Good. Triplet. Right. Left. Here we go. Triplet. Right. Triplet. And left. Right. Left. Triplet. And. Come back to the center. Here's our new step. Much like this one where we went across, but much smaller. So we're just winding side to side. The step touch, I'm sending my heel forward. Good. Take it forward. Slow. Forward. Back. You can see now that I'm adding more hips. Let your hips go away from the heel. Good. Shake it out. Four eights, whatever you want. If you need to sneak a little glass of water here, it's quick, but now's your time. All right, guys, we're ready to come back. Right step touches. Straight, then triplet. Here we go. Step, touch. Step, touch. This one's a turned out touch. Three, five, six. Add the triplets, right, left, right, left, right, left, to the left, to the left, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, right, uh oh, right, 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 left, right, left, bring it down. Slap it down. Feel like you can look, but you don't touch. All right, keep that step touch. We're gonna add the cross the body drag. So first we're just going across. Now we're gonna add the body roll. So snake yourself across. Let the weight of your head pull you forward. Back. Three, four, 
Wind it. Forward. Take your back. And forward. Let your shoulders hold back. Remember we practice squeezing them? Hold them back. Makes your neck look longer. We're gonna go. Triplets. Right, right, left, right. Okay, here we go, double time. Got a little salsa action going on here. Let your heels or toes stand on the floor if you can. One more, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take it back. Take your four eights to rest. Make it mellow. Breathe. The more you breathe, the better you'll feel. Check in with yourself. Maybe you want to take your heart rate right now. We're going to keep it real mellow. Your heart should be pounding. If it's not, here's some options. If you have more cardio capacity and a high ceiling, which I don't, <laughs> you can take all of these movements and add a little bounce. Yeah, a little bounce to anything will bring your heart rate up. If you don't have a high ceiling or you have neighbors down below, then you're gonna take those hips down. And our next drill is gonna focus on down hips, so hang out for that. If you feel like your face is more purple than my face, my face turns pretty purple. If it's more purple than this, or you're just, feels like your lungs are bleeding, then come a little bit into the middle, I want you to keep the rhythm, but you can make everything a little bit smaller. Your reaches can be a little smaller. Your knees can bounce less. Okay, those are your modifications. Now let's talk about hips. Come to the center here. And we're gonna just lift our heels in that triplet pattern that we were just doing. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, I want you to step a little wider. We're gonna combine with that, but first let's talk about the hips. So we're gonna send our hips. Right foot, right hip to corner number two. Number's not important right now. And then back. And then left forward and left back. And you'll notice if I do this from the side, when I'm going forward, I'm lifting that foot up off the ground. Yeah, I see my heel is pointed like I have a high heel on. And I'm gonna send my hip over that high heel. And then as I put my weight into that, to free my other leg, my butt goes to the back. And then I repeat, onto the high heel, hip goes over it, put your weight into it, butt goes to the back to free your other leg. Okay, just leave your feet still. Let's just go in that figure eight. Forward, back, forward, back. The more you bend your knees, the more your hips will move. So there's two parts to making big hip movements. One is nice bent knees, and the other is to think about your ribs engaging. So when I go forward, I'm thinking lift that hip up, using my side body. Try stepping. Pull those arms back. Good. Stick it to the front and the back as far as you can. Lift those cores. Pull it into the center now, make it quicker. Notice how with my feet smaller, I can get lower and more hips. Okay, now we're gonna add the triplet pattern. We go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Good, just drill those salsa hips. Lift your arms up. Let your arms go generally towards your hips. Take it to the sides, one, two, Reset, come up, let your thighs relax. All right. We're gonna start with our step touches. Here we go, step touch. These are your turned out jazz line step touches. Let's do this with jazz on our hands on our hips. Think about that body roll. 
split version. Two, triple it. Right, left, right again. Left, right, left again. Stand it wide, figure eight hips. Bring it in, make it faster. Arms down. Good. Let your arms come up. Big wide hips. Use your whole body, really move those weights. Bring it in. Good. Okay, wide double time. Center, two. Okay, we're gonna go wide again. But that wide one, we're gonna do in the triplet form. Here we go. Six, seven, eight, wide. Good. Take your arms to the side for these. Double time. Right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Lock it out, good job. You guys are doing awesome. Come center, big breath in. We're gonna exhale, we're gonna take it down for a second and we're going to come towards your left leg and spiral to the left. Let your hip go towards that direction so you notice how my other hip is dropping into the side and stretching. Nice long neck, find your breath. Bring your arm around. Say hello to that knee, roll it up. Big breath in. If you feel a little twinkle stars, take it slow. Bend everything to the other side. This is your right side twisting to your right. Your left hip goes to the right. Center. Roll it up. Shoulders back. We're almost done. Let's see if we can review all of the segments that we did from the beginning, yeah? So we're gonna have our beginning fast steps. Take it down. Swing those arms. Come us in. Shoulders back. Last one. Good, step touch, here we go, to your right. Bring it up right, lift up, up. Punches, break the wall. Step across is next, heel. Lean it back. Good. Adding the double bump arms, lifting the ceiling, raise the roof. Clean with it, make it fun. Good, good. One more, get your butt down lower. Squeeze those arms, fast. Here we go, sweep. Step wide. Now that we're warm, really stretch that leg out to the side. Add your body, roll, head. Reset. Work it out. On the floor. Step touch with your hips. Triplet of these simple step touches. Left, right, right. You can say single, single. Double, single, single, double, double. Feel free to yell if you can. Okay, we're gonna do slow hip weight eight. Forward, back, forward, and back. Forward. 
Double time. I'm just working it in, getting lower and lower. Bring it wide again. We're gonna do a single double, single, single, double, double, with your wide face. Two, eight, eight, right, right, left, left, right, right. Bring it in, left, right. Double time. Get down there so you feel your thighs and your core. Breathe. Come forward. Forward. Back. Good. Bring it up. Nice wide legs. We're going to shift now out of our cardio. So we're going to start our cool down. I'm just going to bump my hips to the left. Bump. Pull your core in all the way from your pelvic floor. We're going to reach out. And I'm a little bit in front of my body. And I'm going to lengthen, 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 lengthen. Shoulders down. Here we go. Bring it up. Switch your arms. Don't lock your knees out. Yeah, no locked knees. Slight bend. Here we go. And reach. Two, three. Soft knees. Five, six. Good. Seven, eight. Up. Two, switch. Three, four. Going slow. Get a little bit further out there. Six. Switch. Good. Bring it up. Other side. Just twos. Here you go. We'll go two, one. Switch over. Two, one. Switch over. Two, one. Last set. Switch over. Two, one. Stay there. Dive it to the side. Tuck your tailbone underneath. Pull in. Really stretch your side body. Bring it behind you. Come halfway up and lean your head. Drop your hips down. Big stretch from your earlobe down to your left shoulder. Take your hips in a nice little square. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. Reach out, lengthen the neck, bring it over. To the side stretch, big side stretch. Bring your arm up and around behind you. Come up enough that you feel that stretch from your earlobe to your shoulder. Lengthening right here. Right forward hips, we go forward, back, back, forward. Little box. Bring it up. Take your knees wide. Now, we did everything today except for these touches in parallel, knees and toes forward. So when we touch here now, we're gonna shift to both legs turned out. And that exercise, that movement comes from your under butt chisel, as I like to call it. So we're gonna work these little muscles that are down here. I want you to soften your knees. You can come back so you can see my feet. It's not a very wide stance, but your knees must point in the same direction as your toes. And we're gonna sit down to where you can hold it and still feel lifted through your core. We're gonna bounce those knees back by squeezing under our butts. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Let the feeling grow. Keep lifting. Keep pulling your knees open. Pull them open, open, open. Thighs are squeezing. It's a strength exercise. Let yourself have a little bounce. Eight, four, eight, seven, six, five. Two, one, oh, put your hands on your knees. That same direction of pushing out and back, we're gonna push our knees wide and drop our hips through for an inner thigh stretch. Pull up through your center. Big breath in, 
Spiral your chest to the right. Switch other side. Come back center. Bring it up. Woo! Stretch your quadriceps. If you have something to hang on to, a wall or a ceiling, then you want to have a tailbone that curves under for this. So find your foot. You notice your butt goes back when you do. I want you to lift your core underneath and pull your tailbone underneath so you feel the stretch in the front of that hip and down the front thigh. Got something else to lean on? Go for it. Opening up your right. Breathe, breathe. Switch side. Your butt goes back. Knees are together. Curl your tailbone underneath. Open up the thigh and hip socket. Try and let this shoulder be rested. Instead, pull with your five steps. Get a nice arm flex. Release. Take those hands. If they're sweaty, wipe them off. Now, we're going to flip it. We're going to turn to the side. We're going to hold hands with ourselves. We're going to press our chest out, lift back. It's hard to hold on, I know. That's part of your goal. Parallel legs, drop it down. Roll forward, let your hands pass your head. Hold on tight to those hands. I know they're so slippery. Hold on tight, you got it. your hands to your hips. Let them go. Woo! Drop your buns to the floor. Bend those knees. Roll it up. Good. Nice. Now that we have a little bit of a stretch, we're going to switch down to our core focus. I gave you soft. I gave you sweet. Just like a lion. We came for sheep. Oh no. So if you have a mat that you like to use, go ahead and grab a mat if you want. If you don't, you don't really need a mat unless you have a very sensitive lower back or knees. Um, it's just a matter of discomfort, but not a safety issue, usually for what, what we're doing here. I have a giant mat so that I can turn to demonstrate for you in different directions, but this is obviously not a normal size mat. But for those of you who um, are wondering what six by six looks like. So I had mentioned that in the cardio class, we often use about a six by six amount of space. This is it. It's basically the length of a yoga mat in two directions. And for example, when I was taking those big um, jazz squares, boop, 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 you can see I'm still really right in the middle of my mat. So I'm going to come on down to the floor now, make sure that both of my cameras can see me. Close up. <laughs> Alrighty, and a little fun music, and we'll work on some core strength. Now for all of these core strength exercises, one thing's going to be consistent, and that's that I want you to engage your transversus abdominis muscle. So your transversus abdominis muscle is your set of abdominal muscles that are the deepest, and they work exactly like a corset. They attach to the middle of your spine here, and down on your hips and your ribs, and they pull you in just like a corset. It doesn't matter how much tissue you have on top, that movement in and out is what's going to stabilize your core, your balance, let you feel strong and healthy, whatever you're doing, yeah? So let that movement be the initiation for all of these. We're going to come on down to the center. And we're going to start just sticking it out and pulling it in, yeah? Stick it out, pull it in. Now's a good time to sing some nice things to your belly, yeah? We might have some feelings about how our belly looks at any particular time. Being hard on yourself is not the way to motivate yourself. Go ahead and sit up. Touch your belly if you can. Remember, 
without your belly, you couldn't eat. You couldn't eat, you couldn't eat, live, you couldn't be happy, you couldn't have joy. So love it for what it is. Let's get it strong, yeah? Okay. I'm gonna come forward up onto my knees. Take it out and in, out and in. If your knees are uncomfortable, you can be down here or up, whatever works better for you. Good, all right, hold that feel in. We're gonna come onto our buns. We're gonna do roll downs from Pilates, which means I'm gonna sit all the way up on my sits bones so I feel the bony part of my butt pointing straight down for the start. I'm gonna lift up and in, and I'm gonna curve my hips, tick, 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 and rise up to vertical. So three back, one down. Here we go. Three, two, one, up. The whole time I'm trying to pull in and up, in and up. If your toes are moving off the mat, try moving your feet closer or farther to you so you find the place where they stick down. Stay down. Pat the floor. Imagine a really cute small animal there and you're just pounding it on the head. What is it? Maybe a tiny bunny rabbit. Tiny bunny rabbit. Pull that belly back in and up. Right leg rises. Switch legs, left leg rises. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it up. Take it down. Here we go, walk. Pull in and up the whole time. Feel that core. We're gonna come back up. Whoop. Stretch it out, lean it forward. Exhale, stretch those legs, roll back up. Here we go, down. Knee, knee, knee. Come up, exhale down. One breath, exhale, and come back up. Come down. We're gonna reach across and back. Pull it in, across and back. Go ahead and tap it. Across, tap, tap. Across, pull it up. Across, pull it up. Across, pull it up. Across, pull it up. Across, shake it out, we go up. Then gentle forward. Don't pull tight here. Just take a breath, we come down. Walk, twist and walk. Pulling up in your core. Five, six, seven, eight. Come on up, take it forward. Stay here. Roll it across onto your left side. I'm gonna say top and bottom from here, so it's okay if you're on a different side. Here we go, pull those cores in, lift, lower, lift, lower. Now, whenever we do these leg motions, your hips are gonna wanna do the work rolling around for you. That's not what we're doing right now. Hold your torso perfectly still, just lift the leg. All right, so that's a leg opening straight up. Now I want you to open it like a clamshell. Clamshell, 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 clamshell. Clamshell, put your hand in front of yourself. Make sure your hip's not rolling back. Good, take your knees together. Inverse clam. Let's slow it down. Feel these muscles working right here on the hip. Both legs clam. Keep your hips still. Good, you're almost done. One more. All right, take it down. Bring that top leg across the body a little higher. Straighten your bottom leg. And we're gonna bring your bottom arm forward. Open up and twist away from that top leg. Let your back stretch. Bring it up. And switch to your other side. So both knees are forward, just like you're sitting in an office chair. 
bottom leg relax, adjust your top leg clam clamshell to start. Just feel that, actually, I forgot, we lifted first, so just the lifts to start. Keep your hips still. Find that pelvic floor lift and Pilates scoop. All right, now we're gonna clamshell. Keep those hips still. Breathe into that strength. Reverse clamshell. Lift that knee. So I'm keeping my knees together. I'm just rotating this thigh. Good. Now, both legs clamshell. Breathe into it. This is your last one here on these side kicks. You got it. Close. Open. Close. Open and close. Take it across your body. Straighten the bottom leg. Bring your bottom arm through. Open your top arm away from that knee and twist open. Big deep breaths. Let your spine open up. Good, swing that arm back around. Come up to the center. Find your all fours position. Hands right underneath your shoulders. Little bend in the elbow, pull them back. Tiny little bounces. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Lift your belly in. Pull your pelvic floor up. Nice flat back. I'm gonna tuck my shirt a little bit so you can see when I cheat. Hopefully you can do better than I can, yeah? And bend, and bend, and bend, and bend, and stay down with that little low part. Lift that core back in. We're gonna just take a tiny little walk. Knees stay bent, core stay lifted. Concentrate about the inside of your body. It's not about big movement. Lifting that core. All right, we're gonna stay with your right leg back. So get your right leg back. Right there, tummy in, lift that leg, boom, boom. Just a little pulse, don't take it above your back. Isolate those butt muscles. And switch, left leg, it's gonna go out. You're gonna lift your core, and we're just gonna squeeze the butt, that's it. Not up here, because that's your back working, just your butt, butt. Lengthen that leg, reach it, reach it long. Good, good, bring it in. Switch to your elbows. Pull your core in, right leg. Take it low, lift to your back, back. Up to the back, up to the back. Keep it close. Use your butt, not your back muscles. Five, six, seven. Switch legs, left leg. Use your butt, not your back. Your back stays still. Pull those cores in tight. Don't let your hip rise. Last set. Seven, eight, take it down. Press those hips back, open your chest. Big breath, luxury. Snake it through. Drop your hips down. Lift up, open your chest, pull your shoulders back. Turn your head side to side. Take it back. Roll it up. Knees together. Point those tipsies straight back. Feel your body again here. So we're gonna think about, relax everything at first. And then we're gonna pull our pelvic floor up and in. And our tummies in, yeah? Turn the other way. First I'm lifting my pelvic floor. Up and in, and then my Pilates cue. Release, lift, in, release, lift, in, release. Now we're gonna release in two parts. Lift your core, squeeze your insides, relax your tummy, but hold your floor, and then let your
later floor drop. Floor, scoop, scoop, floor. Floor, scoop, scoop out, floor. All right, hold all that magic stuff in. Squeeze those legs together. Here we go, we're gonna curve. Curve, curve, curve. Now if this is too much for your ankles because your body's just a little different, it's okay to come up here. That'll be a lot on your toes, but it's another option. You can stay even higher as well. But what we wanna work on is that same hip tilt we did on the floor for this last set. Yeah, lift it up, squeeze it in, and tip, tip. Now squeeze your butts and press this tipped back pelvis forward. Good. You'll notice as we do this next exercise that everybody's gonna wanna curl up and then stick out their butt to come forward. Don't stick out your butt. The goal here is to keep all of this curled and tucked underneath, yeah? All right, here we go. We're going to curl, exhale, hollow it out, lean back. We're gonna keep that curl and rise up. Curl, 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 curl. Curl deeper, but don't go as far back. Curl, 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 then forward, flat back. Find the floor. Dive through, elbows in, little push up, just on your knees. Keep that curl, shoulders back, lower down, and come back home, yeah? If you can come back home by thinking of pushing the rug away from you, then your body will slide back low. That's our goal. See if we can all do it, yeah? Maybe not today, but maybe later. Here we go, five, six, Starting from your pelvic floor. Floor, scoop, rise. Keep that curl, keep that curl, keep that curl. Squeeze your butts and curl. Deepen, squeeze your thighs straight. Forward, pull your shoulders back, hover, fall. Nose, chin test, dives forward. Little push up, take it low. Keep that curl, try and push the mat. Stay as low as you can with your elbows in to return home and roll it back up. Floor. Pilates scoop. Tuck. Squeeze your thighs together and your butt underneath to rise up and deepen. Curl, curl, curl. Dive. Two, three, fall. Low. Press up. Just a few more. Down. Stomach's in. Stay low as you can. Roll it up. Stay tucked. Take it midway. Out. Fall forward. Nose chin chest. Press it up. Find that curl. Take it low. Press it back. Stay low. Tuck your toes. We're going to come up into a nice, glorious downward dog stretch. Let your calves stretch out here. Pop one foot. Let the stretch go over to your left leg. And then you're right. So you're walking that dog. Let your shoulders slide towards your buns. So make space around your neck. Wiggle your hips. Let it feel juicy. Find center. Bring your feet together. Shoulders back. Walk your hands to your feet. Soften those knees as you go so you can walk into a forward fold. And walk it back out. Take your right knee forward to a pigeon stretch. It's okay if you're really quite up high as long as you feel the stretch in either the outside of your front leg or the inside front hip of your back leg. Big deep breath. Let that tension go. And bring it in, switch sides.
Tuck your right leg up to your buns. Open that hip flexor. Whoosh. So for those of you taking a log of how your workout was, I'd love to hear how you felt the cardio challenge was for you today. This is the second time you're watching this video. You can compare your first and second times. I'd like to see that position of the hip out to the side that I mentioned earlier. And I'd love to see you doing whichever of these hip opening stretches, the standing one grabbing your leg or the pigeon or this one. I'd like to hear from you or see which one you feel gets you to stretch in the front of your hip, not just in your thigh. That's a good place too, but I want you to feel the hip flexors opening. So hip flexing, side hips dropping out, and cardio challenge are the things I'd love to hear you talk about in your response. And for those of you who are just following along for fun, I hope you had fun. I hope you had a good workout. I'll see you next time.